Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my cancers, and this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my guardian angels messages tarot. And to clarify, I'll be using my angel wisdoms tarot deck. So let's see what messages we have for you, Cancer. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. For everyone stopping by, I thank you and I welcome you, darlings. I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. I thank you so very much and I'm so very grateful to every one of you, darling. <laughs> Let's see what messages we have for you. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay, babies? Not every reading will be for you. So, Cancer, this is for you. The Empress. Abundance. Creation. Action. This is past energy. Balance. Ooh, you found balance. Self-control. The Six of Fire. Success. Oh, my. We got the Eco card. Something unhealthy here. These could be about addictions. You know, any kind of addiction things that you're overdoing um you can be so many things jealousy arguing being in an abusive relationship you know it can be so many things you got the king of water here um it might be a pisces a cancer a scorpio or you might be feeling emotionally balanced even though you know there's something unhealthy in your environment you got the release card, endings and transformation, something coming to an ending. Remember, endings always bring new beginnings, okay? And no matter, even if we were expecting the ending to come, it's still emotional. You know what I'm saying? We still feel it. You got the sun card, happiness and positivity in your environment. You got the renewal card. You're doing some self-reflection, self-evaluation. Good job. When you're finished, you're going to feel revitalized and brand new, babies. You got the three of fire, your visions, your goals. Everything is expanding. And for some of you, you might be going on a trip. So let's see. The Empress. Okay, so on top of the Empress, we have the Ten of Water, we have the Nine of Fire, and we have the Four of Fire. So this is about the family. There was abundance, happy family. Um, this is the past the energy. Um, you Nine of Fire, protect what you've created. Be prepared and never give up. You are resilient. And the Four of Fire, there was so much in your environment to celebrate not too long ago. The Ten of Water, the Nine of Fire, and the Four of Fire. No matter what happened, happened or happens, you keep getting back up. Balance. On top of balance, we have the king of water. There's some kind of water energy here. A Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. You got the renewal card. It's time to review the past with compassion. Be gentle on yourself. And then you got the emperor. That could be an Aries in your environment here. I don't know what you're doing here, but in your heart, you know what to do. You got the king of water, you got the renewal card, and you got the emperor. This is past energy. You got to learn balance, or did you learn to balance? We got the six of fire, whatever it is, whatever is going on. 
you will be successful. You're going to be in your head a bit. Overthinking, failing to see the magic in this opportunity, whatever the opportunity is. You hear that bird calling for me? He thinks he's a budgie. I have to go and talk to him. Say, you are not a budgie. So I got to go whistle to him in a little while. So anyway, so you're deep in your head and you get, you need to start trusting yourself, okay? Don't go and get lost in your head here and overthink things, all right, babies? It might be some kind of distraction. It could just be a distraction because you got the balance card here again. Um, the ending, um, blending ideas with others, the pro power of diversity, patience, have patience, have patience, have patience. Adam's card. Be patient. Everything is going to fall, fall in place. You got the high priestess. Trust your intuition. Turn within. Trust you for all the answers. Only you have them. Only you know what to do. For real. And we got the ego card. Now, you know, this is about unhealthy stuff. Something unhealthy here. What's going on? The king of air. The eight of water and the six of earth. There's a lot of energy here. You got the king of water in the past. Could be a water energy, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Um, maybe there's some renewal here with the emperor. That's going to make you feel balanced. On top of the ego, we got the king of air. Maybe you just need to communicate communicate clearly. Or maybe whoever you're in a relationship, whichever energy it is, they're just not emotionally available for you. You're thinking about walking away. You got to need to move on. That's what's unhealthy in your environment. The relationship you're in is, is unemotional. They're not available for you or to you. It's a one-way relationship. You do everything. You got the king of air here. I don't know if this is an energy. It could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Um, you got the eight of water here. You do need to move on. And the six of earth. The good things you've done in life will come back to you. You will find the balance that you are seeking. I say you will overcome whatever this unhealthy energy is. I say you will overcome it. You're going to find balance. You're going to move away from it. You're going to walk away from it. You're going to start loving yourself and taking care of you. You got the king of air, the eight of water, and the six of earth. Then you have the king of water here. King of water could be a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpio. Could be that you're feeling balanced. You're going to receive some kind of news, uh, good news in regards to financial matters. You're going to find some strength there. There's an air energy in your environment. There's an air energy in your environment. A Pisces, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. I don't know. You might have some choices, huh? cancer we got the page of earth we got the strength card you found your inner strength now the queen of air could be talking about um releasing situations or people that no longer serve you okay so you might be releasing someone you found your strength i don't know if it's the king of water or maybe the king of water um helped you find who you were so you got the page of earth you got the strength card and you got the queen of air Then you got the release card. There's an ending. And endings bring new beginnings. Um, if there's a water energy in your environment, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, you might need to be aware. I don't know. I got goosebumps starting from my arms all the way down my arms. They're starting all here. I feel them all here, all here. I feel them. I feel them right here. Oh. Um, um, you need to be aware of this water energy. I don't know who they are. I don't know what their intention is. Um, be aware of it. I got the ego card on top of this water energy and I got the justice card. Okay. 
stand up for what you believe in. Be aware. Watch this water energy. Pay attention. This water energy came up here before. You got the, the ego card here again. So, I mean, I don't know. It's... <laughs> There's going to be an ending here. It might be with the water energy. And it would be a good thing. I got the ego card. Something about this energy is unhealthy. But you see, the king of air as well came up over the, um, the ego card over here. You walked away, made you feel balanced. Maybe it's showing the past, maybe it's showing um, repetition of behavior. I, you know what I mean? Like the same kind of situation happens. It's just players change. You got the queen of water. You got the ego card and you got the justice card. Stand up for what you believe and see all sides of the situation and you will win. If your position is one of integrity, okay? I think you will. Not I think. I know you will overcome the, um, this unhealthy thing in your environment. Whether it's this water energy or that air energy. I'm not sure. But I say you will overcome and you will find the balance. You are going to overcome it. You're going to get rid of it. You're going to find happiness. You're going to have conflict, of course. You know, life. You know, when things end and, and stuff and people aren't meant for you to be with when people aren't meant to be in your circle and they leave you know whichever way whether they chose or you chose or no matter what there's always the possibility of conflict right but you don't have to be focused on that negativity you can push it away and you can focus on things about money and finances and the money that you're coming into okay so don't be all up in that negative space there because you want good things to happen, right? So we got the five of air, we got the eight of earth, and we got the ten of earth above the sun coming into some finances unexpectedly. You got the renewal card, rebirth, feeling brand new. You've done some work on yourself. You got the seven earth, this finance, um, whatever it is, it's coming from the past. Stop worrying about the money, okay? You got the world card and you got the king of earth. This is another energy here. This could be saying that you, you're stable, whatever business idea you're thinking about, you got it handled. But the seven of earth is some finances coming. The world card is about things coming to successful completion for you. And you got the king of earth. That could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn, or... It could be you feeling financially balanced and magical. Having the Midas touch, everything you touch turns to gold. And the three of five, your goals are expanding. Whatever situation you were in, you are out of it because whatever you got yourself in, you can get yourself out. And you are getting yourself out with that negative energy. Whatever unhealthy energy is, gone. Okay, you got choices. Always remember you have choices and you can have mental clarity. You have the eight air or maybe some communication from someone. I don't know. Maybe you're going on a trip somewhere. I'm not sure. You got the eight air. Getting out of that situation you were in. It was your choice. You did make a choice. You stopped procrastinating. And you got mental clarity. And you got... Or maybe new communication that you've been waiting for. Mm. We're starting to see things, though, the way they're supposed to be. You got the Queen of Fire, you got the Ace of Earth, and the Awakening card. You're going to have some temporary delays where this fire energy is concerned. Might be that Emperor, I'm not sure. 
Um, there was a lion. It could be a Leo. But there is some kind of um, fire energy here. Or this could be you finding your courage. Now, <clears throat> um, there is some kind of um, financial beginnings for you. But you've got some delays. Some delays. Something is holding back the situation. You got the Queen of Fire, you got the Ace of Earth. This is about a new financial opportunity. Now, remember, you not you came into some finances not too long ago. And those finances seem like they came from the past. But you have a little stuck energy around you. You got the Queen of um, Fire. Could be that energy that has you stuck a little bit. You got the Ace of Earth and you have the Awakening card. And the Star card, no matter what, you keep your eye on the prize. You are not going to give up. You hear me? You're not giving up. You're not giving up. You're not giving up. Trust yourself. Keep the faith. Keep the hope alive. Your awakenings, your awakenings, your delays, your delays will be over soon. They're temporary. It's just a temporary pause in action. You got the Star card. Okay? Don't give up. Many people gave up just as they were about to make it, you know. Don't you give up. Let's see. I'm going to pull a card from my Angels and Ancestors deck. For you. So we're going to choose that one. Here. <coughs> Spring. See your seeds grow. They got some. Look at the picture from the past where finances are concerned. Something you planted. See your seeds grow. So let's see. Spring. Spring, see your seeds grow. Embrace the changes that is on the horizon. Allow your dreams to become a reality. You are ready to bring to life all of your ideas, inspirations, and projects. When this card appears, you're moving into a space that allows you to really grow, expand, and create in a way you've never done before. There are opportunities for abundance, including financial growth. And if you're st starting something new, prepare for a major expansion in your life and soul. When the spring card arrives in the future position of the spread or as the last card in a reading, it can also indicate that the coming spring will usher in important energies and Important energies with regards to your questions or intentions. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and we will chat.